All right, what's going on, y'all? It's Dom here with Still Nice CNC. So today, uh, we're going to have to realign this whole machine up. And the reason why is because when I was creating a M45 um, external, or sorry, an external nut shape with an internal thread for an M45, uh, I had an extra cut parameter. It went forward like this and just dug straight down into this. The Z plate is completely cockeyed. So what we're going to do now is uh, bring out the machinist level. We're going to level this way first and then level um, horizontal to me. And uh, so we're going to clean up this mess right quick because um, we're going to have to jack the machine up and make sure everything is good to go. So stay tuned on how I uh, make sure this is aligned to what we're doing here. Let's get going. And I'm just going to... I'm just going to blow all this stuff to the back. Anyway, so the plan is we're going to level front to back before we do side to side. And then after everything is level from the base, we're going to go to the arms next. I'm going to take these old uh, M5 nuts out. And I want to show you what I'm going to be using right here. Uh, or the M5 bolts, I should say. All right, so here I have a very precision machine level that is... 0 0.02 millimeters per meter. This is only a meter wide table by a meter long. So um, each one of these uh, lines here, each one of these dashes represents uh, 0.2 millimeters or 0 0.02, excuse me, 0 0.02 millimeters per meter. And that's what these lines are for. So what we're gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna bring you guys up close we're going to level out the back side first or like the um, this side here before we uh, level the horizontal position. All right, so we're just going to take this, make sure there's no metal here or here. Um, use my gloves. I'm going to try to do this as best as possible because it's not that wide, but it's okay. So the whole machine needs to either come up in the back or drop in the front. All right, so we got the jack out. Should be just big enough to get underneath there. That's all we need, just a little bit of finesse. There we go. I don't think these can go any further up. I'm not sure yet. All right, we'll release it and see what happens slowly. And now we see where the level is. All right, so it's very micro adjustments with the, uh, with the machine level feet. Well, you can see now that it is uh, level pretty much. I'm not going to mess with this side anymore. So now we have to do the front of the machine here. All right, so now that the table is level, now the arms, I forgot to record, but the arms are level. But now you can see here it touches. Here, there's a huge gap. Let's see if I can get you down a side like this. See that huge gap? They're not. And I used a, a very big um, right angle measuring 
not this one. There's another one on the other end of the table. But so what I have to do is I have to jack this up and jack this up here. And we're going to lay some um, probably one millimeter underneath this to push it back. So let's get to it. All right. So let's get the jack up here. Matter of fact, I got to loosen these ones up over here, too, because it's on this side as well. So we're just going to loosen up these ones here. Oh, this whole gantry was uh, loose. That's not good. That was not tight at all. All right. So we can get the jack back up here. Ugh. Not trying to destroy my light. I have to get a new one anyway now. Let's go ahead and where is that? As you can see, we're off here. But if I put something underneath, let me see if I have any um, one millimeter laying around. Probably do. So this doesn't look like one millimeter, but um, this here, I'm going to cut it right quick. All right, so both of the X gantry sides are even now, completely even. There's no more gaps in between. Uh, if it is, it's like in a hundred thousandths of a uh, millimeter. Um, so now what we're going to be working on is the Z plate. I'm going to show you this side right quick right here. I'm going to bring you like this. Look at that. Can't be more than happy for that. So the gantry is square to the body. Now it's time for the Z plate. So let's get going. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm just checking the uh, squareness of this plate since it, up here it said, well, it said zero, not anymore. But the spoil board could be also not straight anymore. Here there's a slight little gap. Very slight though, very slight. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, what we could do is tighten around that plate there. Then we tighten this side down over here and we turn this not on drill, but torque. So now that this, now that the plate is square, I'm going to check the um, this profile too here, because it could be that that's also not straight. Ooh, look at that. That whole thing is off. But then again, I'm not sure if this is straight. You know, it's uh, quite hard to tell. I could probably
it's off. So it looks like, unfortunately, I'm going to have to take this whole thing off, re redo this plate here. Um, same thing with this one. So I'm going to put you guys in a hyperlapse mode, and we'll get to it. All right, y'all. So now that the table is level to the floor, the arms are level to the table, the gantry is level to the arms, the back Z plate is now level in this direction. It should be level in this direction. I might need to make minor adjustments uh, um, forward and aft and side to side with this. The plate is also level with the uh, table here. The next thing to do is um uh tram the spindle yet uh now so let's get to that part all right so what i did now is um i went ahead and made the program for to resurface this so what i'm doing is i'm just taking out the broken tool here Just want to make sure the spindle turns on too. Uh, let me go do that right quick. M three S five thousand. Looks good to this looks good to me. So what we're gonna do I have to go through these tools here because I need a very special not that one. Not that one. This one here. I should do it. So I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring on to the table and zero it in a flatter spot. We'll go ahead and do jogging, jog down, incremental mode. All right, looks good to me. So I'm going to zero that, bring it up, go to zero. I'm going to have to turn the vacuum cleaner on for this because it's going to get loud. So, uh, regen toolpath, always regen it.
to one. This is where it's going to get messy. 